The next one's from an older gentleman who's having some issues with uh, achieving an erection. He loves his wife and he asks, is oral sex and masturbation okay? All right. Firstly, trouble with obtaining an erection, remember I said was related to intergender issues, firstly created by anger, but obviously underneath that, some deep grief. So look really sincerely at the feelings you have towards the opposite sex. The fact that you can't obtain an erection, there is actually feelings that you are having towards the opposite sex that you are not intellectually allowing yourself to see. And is it fair to say that it may not, because um, I know I've had this issue of having a lot of anger at men, but I'm not angry at AJ, but in fact it affects my orgasm. But So it, I had to be very honest about it, I'm having emotions towards men. Um, even though it's hard to relate that to AJ. But the truth is I'm a man, so those emotions are coming towards me too. Right? So, so if you're gonna, you might have anger issues with previous relationship women. You may have anger issues particularly with maybe your mother or some other key female figure in your childhood. Allow yourself to work through that issue. Then the flag will raise. I think that's the way you ask the question. I can't raise the flag. And then the flag will raise. Right? And, uh, and you'll be right with regard to that. Now, let's look at the issue of oral sex and masturbation. Masturbation is fine, but if, if you're finding that you get turned on masturbating, but you can't raise the flag, as the saying goes, with your partner, then obviously it's quite clear, isn't it, that you don't have problems pleasuring yourself, but you do have problems in the interaction pleasuring your partner. What if they're, they're masturbating their partner? Well, masturbating partner's fine too, isn't it? I just wondered if I felt that was a good oh, question. Well, with mutual masturbation or something like that, or, or just pleasuring the woman. Yeah. yeah. If, let's, say, let's say you have problems obtaining an erection if you're a male, and you have problems even with libido as a male, but you do enjoy just pleasuring your wife, right? Or pleasuring your partner. Well, obviously that's fine, but you've got to look at why are you denying them the pleasure of doing the same with you? There's something going on there emotionally. Does that make sense? There's got to be some emotional thing you've got going on with women that would cause you to not want to receive from women but willing to give, right? So have a look at that particular issue, what's going on inside of you emotionally. Now that's assuming that he's talking about uh, giving oral sex or, mas or, or, or touching his wife. Let's, see if, let's assume it's on the receiving end. In other words, he only gets an erection when he's, when he's engaged in oral sex. If you only get an erection in certain locations or in certain mo uh, situations or in certain fantasies, then there are always emotional reasons why that's the case. And they'll always generally be linked to some kind of childhood events. Um, and they'll often be linked to things like issues of homophobia as well as to what's going on there. So, or uh, working through issues of homophobic situations. So there's a lot of issues that may be associated with you know, why you want to only give pleasure and not receive it, why you only want to receive pleasure and not give it, why you only feel powerful sexually when you're engaged <laughs> in oral sex but you don't feel powerful when you're engaged in, in penetrative sex. All of these issues have always got emotional injuries associated with them. So allow yourself to feel about what they are. And if you allow yourself to feel about what they are and pray about it, almost in every case I've ever seen, within 10 minutes most people understand what the cause might be. I've very rarely seen a person sincerely want to know an answer to a cause that doesn't get the answer very rapidly from within themselves. <coughs> 